Do you ever wonder why some people effortlessly get what they want in life while you struggle for every inch? Why do you experience some success only to slip back into old patterns? Well, by the end of this episode, you're gonna grasp what's blocking you from getting what you want. There's a part of our brains that acts like a bouncer in a nightclub that often holds us back. Achieving our goals hinges on this gatekeeper that's called the Reticular Activating System, or RAS. Sounds complicated? Don't worry, I'm gonna break it all down for you. The most exciting thing that I wanted to share with you today in this episode is that these neural pathways can physically grow and change over time in this region. So think about that. This is great news because this can even help you with memory and aging, with the side benefits of getting your goals to happen faster. Yay, now we all want that, right? So this reticular activating system, it's not just this passive observer hanging out back there. It's an active participant in you achieving your dreams. So as it acts as this gatekeeper between your conscious mind or your awake mind and your subconscious mind or your hidden mind, it houses this intricate network of neuron pathways located in the brain stem. Imagine it as a vigilant guard of your subconscious, allowing only the most dominant messages to make it through. So in other words, the thoughts and feelings that you believe the strongest are the ones that are gonna get into your subconscious mind. Hi, I'm Kate Wilder. If you're new here, I'm a mindset coach specializing in reinventing yourself through the power of manifestation and practical self-improvement tools that work. The good news is the reticular activating system is highly adaptable, like a skilled detective. It constantly updates its database with new information, allowing you to change your baseline of beliefs. And it's always on the lookout for new patterns and new connections. Your trusty RAS system is there to guide you and meet your every goal, dream, and wish. The trick is getting your subconscious mind to accept your new idea or thought with enough conviction that your outer events align to prove that you're right. If it's possible then to physically change your neuron network by feeding in exactly what you want to have happen, then that also means you have more control over your goals and dreams, right? This is essentially how manifestation happens at its core. All manifestation really is, is that which is likened to itself is matched. So the law of attraction extends into science and neurons as well. Think about it. A positive thought attracts a positive outcome. A negative thought attracts a negative outcome. Since you can change your physical neuron pathways by using various methods to get better matches of thought, the question then becomes, what methods can you use to do this? And how do you do it? This is powerful and why I'm doing this series of episodes to show you how to do this. This leads me to this point that you'll only be allowed to progress as far as your subconscious mind permits, since the reticular activating system is allowing your most dominant thoughts to get through to your subconscious. You have what, what you can think of as kind of a set point or like a baseline of your beliefs. And beliefs are nothing more than a series of thoughts that have been repeated and implanted in your mind through years and years of repetition. When your baseline is filled with beliefs such as, I can't afford it, I never get what I want, good things always happen to other people, but not me, I'm not smart enough, then no matter how hard you try, you'll always return back to these baseline beliefs until you shift them. Do you see how this works? So when you're visualizing your ideal future or just thinking about what you want in your life, or if you're simply staying open to new possibilities, your faithful reticular system is right there by your side, ready to turn your thoughts into reality. With its keen intuition and unwavering dedication to you, my friends, it's the ultimate ally on your journey to manifesting your deepest desires. You can think of the reticular system like having a personal assistant who's constantly scanning for signs of alignment with your goals, nudging you in the direction of your dreams. It's a GPS system giving direction to your thoughts, sending them to their final destination. So how do you use it to your advantage? 
by consistently feeding it with positive, empowering beliefs and visions or thoughts of your desired outcomes. You can harness the formidable power to manifest the life of your dreams. Repetition is key. It took a lot of repetition to get where you are. It's gonna take some repetition to get where you wanna be. It's a subtle yet profound shift that can transform your reality though, from one of limitation to one of limitless potential. That's why mastering your mindset and directing your thoughts is so crucial in the process of achieving any goal. The reticular activating system doesn't discriminate between positive and negative thoughts, feelings, or beliefs. It simply amplifies whatever it is you focus on. So if you find yourself fixating on fears or doubts or limitations, guess what? Your reticular activating system will faithfully seek out evidence to support these beliefs, perpetuating a cycle of negativity and even limitation in your life. It's like programming a GPS to take you to a destination that you don't want to visit. <laughs> so you'll inevitably end up where your attention is focused. So you might as well, you know, think about focusing where you want to. Have you ever been driving down the road and you kind of go on autopilot and you end up someplace else after missing an exit because you weren't paying attention? This happens with our thoughts every day when we're not paying attention to them. Studies have shown that affirmations primed into this region through various techniques like meditation, sleep subliminals, brainwave meditation, guided meditation, visualization, various journaling techniques, hypnosis, can change the function of the brain, especially when primed before and during sleep. So your neural pathways can physically grow and change over time. And when your subconscious mind accepts your new ideas with enough conviction and repetition, outer events align to prove that you are right. It's really quite simple if you're willing to do a little bit of effort here. So when I talk about infusing a thought with a feeling, it means to feel strongly about your idea so that you can convince yourself that it's true. Thoughts are the first layer of what we put out. Everything starts with the thought, no matter what it is. Thoughts have created beliefs which play the crucial role in what you want to create in life, and they're the key to changing everything in your life. Everything starts with a thought. Like if you're saying, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. This is so true. Each limiting belief becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. We've all seen this happen in our lives. You know, we attract corresponding outcomes that are kind of lower vibrational fields of thought, like the negative field of thought. When you constantly affirm, my expectations are always exceeded, this strengthens this belief in your subconscious and you'll soon see proof of this in your outer world or your external circumstances. When you start changing your subconscious programming, you're actually altering your life's outcome. Without interrupting these old ingrained patterns and introducing new information, you'll remain stuck in your current state. While occasional manifestations may occur by chance, your default setting, your deep-seated beliefs or that baseline will ultimately dictate your overall results. So like any new habit that you wanna form, you have to work at it a little bit. And this is no different, but it doesn't take that long. And it can be very fun if you frame it right in your mind that this is almost like a game that you're gonna try. Imagine if you could instill new beliefs about money that you'd never feel lack again that you could start noticing evidence that these beliefs are all around you. Wouldn't that be exciting? If you're still watching, your reticular activating system is beginning to focus on what's possible for you right now. New possibilities and ideas might be popping up in your mind even right now as you listen. Things that you might wanna work on or do. You've learned that activating this reticular activating system kickstarts the process of changing your neural pathways. This is why everyone talks about getting into the right mindset. And honestly, there is no way around it for significant manifestations. You'll only be allowed to progress as far as your subconscious mind permits. And your RAS system is allowing your most dominant thoughts to get through your subconscious. 60,000 thoughts a day, my friends. How many of yours are negative? How many are positive? Think about that. So this is why some people effortlessly get what they want because their deep-seated beliefs are rooted in unlimited potential and abundance.
in all things, not just money. In the next episode, I'm going to detail out for you why and how affirmations work, which tools you can choose to use for your lifestyle and interest, and your first action step today is to discover your current subconscious beliefs by downloading my free guide in the description link. Then click on that next video, Why Do Affirmations Work? Make sure to enable those notifications though, because these are gonna come one after another. Thank you for watching until the end. Stay tuned to the next episode in this series that'll be coming in 24 hours or less. And happy manifesting.